Hello to my Libras. Libras, this video is for May 1st through May 6th. Uh, May 1st kicks off the last quarter moon in Aquarius. When you watch this video, the video, the uh, moon will be moving from a full moon into the last quarter moon, but it's a waning gibbous moon phase, right? So that's where you want to repel, banish any negative thoughts about what you have to let go during this pink moon, this pink full pink moon phase where you're gently removing the rose colored glasses uh, from your eyes and um, just, just seeing things clearly, like seeing things a lot more clearly about yourself and just where you may have been indecisive in those areas. And um, like I said, the moon is, you watch this video, if you're watching on the 25th or the 26th, it's in Sagittarius, and then it'll move into Capricorn, and then it'll move into Aquarius. So kind of a, you know, a couple of days ahead, you know, if you're watching, because it's dated May 1st through May 6th. So make sure you watch this video and also go back and watch the video for April 23rd through April 30th. Let's go. Let's get into it. Let's get right into it, Libras. Let's go. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I've already prayed over your cards. This is a general reading, so take only what resonates with you. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below. We do have digital journals and digital calendars for those of you all who want to journal your journey, right? This is a year karmic relationships are being broken, so the truth about yourself is coming out, and so you want to... You want to reveal the truth about self before somebody else exposes it, right? So that you can get in front of a lot of things. Seven of Cups, right? Somebody may have an issue with being compared with other people, right? Here we also have the Nine of Wands. We also have the Three of Wands. We also have the Four of Wands. We also have Gway or Way. We also have Madre Tierra, right? So somebody is starting to say, you know, in some cultures, this were, I mean, not want to say some cultures, maybe, um, and, and some people believe this word means idiot or fool or whatever. Some people mean, let's see, it's friend, right? It's your friend, right? So, um, I'd see somebody having a sunnier disposition when you decide, Hey, been through all of this, people constantly comparing me to other people and talking to men and women, Libra. Been there, done that, you know, been upset, been disappointment, bur been disappointment, been disappointed, excuse me, burned out, stressed out, whatever. I can either choose to be my own friend or I can feel, feel like an idiot, right? For just taking too long now that I'm coming through the light, you know, coming into the light about some things, the nine of wands here. So I feel like somebody is saying, hey, look, I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> Let me live my true authentic life. I see somebody having a... Um, uh, new and exuberant love in their lives and possibly the same sex, you know, in their lives. But I also see, see this like rainbow here. Um, and I do see somebody moving forward. I feel like somebody is saying, um, and again, take only what resonates with you. Okay. But I feel like somebody is saying, I'm, why, why am I even putting myself in these situations of being compared to energy? Like, why am I even getting mad at this? Like, why, why, why do I even get upset? Right. So, or it could be the other person that was discovered, Hey, you know, they like the same sex or whatever the case may be. Again, take only what resonates with you. Um, this rainbow could even be um, opposite sex of people who are just like living their truth. You know, maybe you're a person who likes to travel and the other person likes to stay at home and do nothing. Right. Bottom line is that somebody is tired of um, going through a storm and keep going through stuff with energies and just like, well, why? Why am I even... You know, that's what you're asking. That's what that's what the seven of wands is that number seven, the dark side of the number seven is like, why do you, why do I keep going through this? The light side of the number seven is it makes sense. I'm I'm ready to close out the cycle and move on with my life. Or I'm ready to live my truth, whatever that may be, right? Why do I have to keep putting up with people keep letting people compare you to other people? Because that seemed like it's a sore spot for somebody. So somebody's saying, Hey, I'm I'm ready to live my truth outside of that. Here's the nine of wands here. So it's you and somebody, you know, like I said, coming through something together and going to find each other, right? You know, maybe their comparison to other people could be trying to be just as good as the other parent. It may not even be about uh, sex. It could just be a uh, sexual preference. It could be about maybe you meet somebody who feels like they, they are competing against the other parent for their kid's love. Like what something about it is that somebody is tired of being compared to somebody. Somebody's just like, hey, look. 
y'all could be lost together. Y'all could be lost together completely. You know, you want to be confused. I refuse to be confused by confused people. So, yeah, you're heavily being watched. Here we have the King of Wands. Here you have a lot of great ideas. You inspire and motivate a lot of people, you know, Libra. But one thing you're not anymore is indecisive, right? You're balanced out, right? And you have a guardian angel on the other side that's helping you with this. and saying, hey, live your truth, whatever that may be. You're definitely not. You're closed out of cycle. And you just trust that God, you're praying for people. You're just praying that they come through, you know, come through life and not be confused. So, but you are not going to feel like an idiot anymore. Here we have the um, Ace of Wands. Your third eye is definitely wide open. I'm, I'm telling you, the, tr the truth is being exposed this year, right? I see you being booked and busy and not burdened anymore because... Because again, I feel like somebody has come through long and arduous journeys and you're just staying away from people who, you know, don't want to live their authentic lives. So they got to, they got to make you feel like you, they, you're in some kind of a competition and you're not in a competition. So, Hey, you're removing yourself from the equation. It's going to be a lot of that this year. A lot of people will be removing themselves from the equation because you are not going to be confused. You don't like being indecisive. You're an incredibly smart sign, but somebody's like, I don't, I don't want to be indecisive. You can't compare me to the other parent. You can't compare me to... Your ex, you can't compare me to whoever. You can't compare me to Mickey Mouse. <laughs> it's, it's like, <laughs> so that's what I feel like. I feel like somebody's living their best life. Yep, it's two energies in particular. You just decided you're moving on. Yep. And I feel like somebody's going to be in a very harmonious relationship with somebody where you all feel like it's a safe space to just be, whoever it is. So, yeah. I feel like somebody, I mean, yeah, here we have King of Cups here. I feel like, um, I feel like, you know, you're just pretty level-headed about it. I don't even feel like somebody's upset at this point. I, I Honestly, I feel like somebody's just like, you know what? I'm tired of being burned out and stressed out. I'm tired of being confused. Everybody looking at each other like they're shifty-eyed and confused. You're not, that's not you. You're moving on. You're living your truth, whatever that may be, so... Here we have the Page of Swords. So whatever anxiety you may have been having about some things is going to come to an end very soon. Here we also have the Eight of Cups. But somebody is not sabotaging themselves. You don't feel like you're walking on eggshells anymore. This is the same person. This person right here did the mirror work and looked at how, you know, how much you were stifling your own growth by feeling like you, it's, an, it's a competition. I got to be the nicer parent. I got to be the, no, you just got to be the parent. Stand firm. I just got to be the parent. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a parent the way I need to parent. I don't need to be a better parent than the other parent if y'all not in the same household. As long as, look, <clears throat> as long as your kids or your child, you know, feel safe, they're in a safe, secure environment, you good, right? You're not going to be manipulated by energies who try to get you all upset and get you frustrated. Somebody has just reached a, a point of just saying, before I get frustrated and take it out on somebody else, I'd rather, I'd rather admit my truth, right? I'd rather admit my truth. So like I said, it'll come out eventually anyway. So here we have the eight of, um, eight of swords here. So yeah, somebody's definitely doing the mirror work and just saying you're moving on with your life. You're not being compared to anybody. You're not going to be compared to your siblings. It's when I say it's a truth, like some parents compare siblings. You're like, take me out of the equation. Some of your exes are comparing you to their exes. Take me out of the equation. You're taking yourself out of the equation. Some of your, your adult kids are comparing you with the other parent to see who they can use and who they can manipulate. Remove me from the equation. Whatever it is where I feel like I'm being I'm in competition, it's going to cause me to vibrate low because I'm seeing some slithery snake kind of situation going on and I don't really know what's going on. I'm moving out of everybody's way so I can live my life. So there you are on your throne of your emotions and creativity, on your throne of your where you're taking action, you're asserting yourself, you're, you're throwing, you prayed yourself um, through some things. And now you're looking back at your former self saying, wow, I finally closed out some cycles. And like I said, you're praying for everybody at this point. Got the prayer cloth and everything. <laughs> but one thing you not is indecisive. You are not carrying other people's burden of fear, doubt, their, their demons overtaking them. Them hiding in the closet. Like, you ain't carrying anybody else's. Mm -mm. Here we also have the three of um, cups. So, you and your person, like I said before, whoever you and your person, y'all getting together, both of y'all are living a happy, peaceful life. I see you being around your community of people. You know, it's just, it's just a win-win for you. 
because you're not indecisive anymore. If we have Queen of Cups, you're inspiring other people to pour into themselves. Like I said, you're compassionate, but you're pouring into your drinking from your own cup. You've already moved on from disappointment. Here we have the Six of Swords. And some people, I mean, they just, you just going to have to be okay with it. Some people are just two peas in a pod, for real. Three peas in a pod, four peas in a pod. Some people just like to be in state of confusion. They like to be blowtorched. They like to be cussed out. They like to be in friction mode in order for them to move out of their comfort zone. You remove yourself from the equation. You say, I'm not indecisive about it anymore. Because these same energies will try to get you upset and then turn around and tell you that you're jealous of them. I mean, like what? <laughs> jealous? What? Uh-uh. Nah. Here we have four of cups. So, yeah, I definitely feel like you're not even... I feel like some. you could be sitting around thinking about it now, but you won't be sitting around thinking for long. Where as soon as you get in front of that pool or that beach, large body of water, drinking water, doing your juice fast, go swimming, water watsu or, or yoga in the water, that's going to take it all away. And right now, somebody's listening to a lot of water sounds at night when you drift off and go to sleep. But indecisive, mm -mm. this you right here, throwing up a wand. That's right. Feeling good about life. Like, whew, that's not my responsibility anymore. Y'all figure it out. <laughs> Y'all figure it out. Because me, I'm about to go have some fun in the sun and, and next to some a large body of water. See this person right here? They sailing onto dry land. Somebody says, hey, I need to go lay out in the beach. I'm not sabotaging myself no more. Because nobody knows how long the, your, your days here on earth are going to last. The next moment isn't even promised. So why not go, you know, live your best life? So that's what I see you doing. Adjust your crown. Adjust your crown. You know that you're down to earth. You're relatable. That's right. Here we have King of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles. You're down to earth. You're relatable. You got 24 hours in a day. If you measure in time, how you going to spend that is certainly not being in comparison to somebody else. So good for you. You're not looking for their acceptance and approval anymore. It's time to go live your best life. Look at you. Sunglasses on. I'm talking to men and women. You're sitting there financially independent. That's right. Four of cups. It's been a long journey for somebody. So you and somebody, y'all are kind of in, you and your person, y'all are kind of in the same boat right now. Y'all sitting around like, okay, one day when I'm going to meet my person, Mercury retrograde, <laughs> you know, Mercury goes station direct, I, I believe April 26th. So it's, it's, I mean, it's soon for somebody to meet their person. Somebody just had to, you know, learn some lessons about themselves and how you were being manipulated and frustrated and burned out and confused by, you know, about energies possibly that you, you know, gave birth to or had sex with, or, you know, um, they gave birth to you or it could have been given birth to the sibling or something was going on. We talking about all of this water here, right? There was a lot of creativity going on. This is a lot of toxicity. And once you got to your throne of your emotions and creativity and your ideas and your spirituality and your time slash money, that's when somebody could start seeing some stuff. And then that's what got somebody moving. I ain't even indecisive anymore. I'm not sitting in the middle of the ocean in a little tiny cell. <laughs> in a little tiny sailboat, boat about the capsize. No, uh-uh. Somebody says, I need, come on, ancestors. Let's get, get me out of here. Get me out of here. Mm -mm. That's why your anxiety won't be lasting for too much longer. So people just going to have to figure it out. They sitting somewhere with their hair on fire, just upset to the highest level. And, and you a hardworking person and they sitting there, you got all these great ideas and it's, it's some energies. They mad. Hopefully they'll be mad enough to, to pray their way out of, um, out of confusion. So maybe hopefully they'll get angry enough to say, Hey, I need to stop being confused. I need to stop being indecisive because everything lining up perfectly for you. Yep. You and somebody, everything line. I feel like you and your person are going to bond over some kind of music. Mm-hmm. Y'all gonna bond over music, whether y'all are music lovers or, you know, the arts or something like that. Somehow y'all are gonna bond over music, but that's where your breakthrough is gonna come in. Source has been trying to tell somebody to move on from two types of situations that'll end up being a nightmare for you. And that's what I feel like people who manipulate you and then turn around and get mad at you because you can't be manipulated. Like, where is the logic? <laughs> that don't even make sense. I'm mad at you because I couldn't manipulate you. Oh, okay. All right. Let's get off this, this, let's get off this thing. This is, this wheel of, 
this wheel wheel of confusion let me get off this wheel of confusion because child uh-uh but no that's what i'm seeing for you uh so far libra so yeah like i said before once you gently remove the blindfolds it's gonna be so much easier because somebody's gonna say i've been going through this for so long it's just exhausting at this point you know what i surrender all to thee for real that's what somebody's gonna say i surrender all to thee source you've been showing me over and over and over again that i've been manipulated by these energies They've been preying on, you know, my, you know, my desires. They've been preying on my belief systems. They've been preying on, you know, my feelings. And I'm just, you know, what I just feel like my water is drying up. It's just exhausting. So that's what, that's what somebody prayed for and your prayers were answered. So congratulations. That's why somebody's just cool, collected, cool, calm and collected. You ain't even upset at this point. You really not. That's where the breakthrough is coming in. Cause source kept trying to tell somebody it's two types of situations I need you to move on from. And somebody just had to sit in it for a while until you said, okay, I'm starting to see some clarity in some situations. That's why I always talk about listening to water sounds because somebody was listening to water sounds, downloads were coming through. Somebody wasn't opening up and saying something and, you know, it is what it is. Page of Pentacles, new money is coming across your path. But before new money comes across your path, it's an income of information, right? Incoming information. And right now, somebody's they gonna be somebody's gonna be having a tower moment. Somebody's gonna have a tower moment, right? The tower moment first came in where you feel like, okay, I'm indecisive, like this awakening, I'm indecisive. But the reason why somebody stayed in it so long is because somebody for uh let's I'm just gonna tell y'all what I'm seeing in the cards, okay? Just take what resonates with you. The only reason why somebody was so indecisive because they felt like somebody this was gonna happen to somebody. Like either you felt like somebody's life was going to be in danger. That's why you hung in there for a long time. But it was almost like a trap set by the devil. Because if you have faith in source, I feel like somebody's prayer saved you from that. You could have walked outside and got hit by a bus for real. You know, but I feel like somebody's, somebody's prayer saved you. And so I feel like your prayers is going to help somebody else through theirs, right? And of course, you know... Death does not always mean in a physical sense, just so we're crystal clear. So once you had to come to the realization that prayers do work and they do change people's lives, I feel like somebody thought this was right here. It was like, okay, death meant they never going to talk to me again. It could have meant that death. And that's what somebody was grieving. It's like, okay, I already saw how angry they get. I already saw how manipulative they can get. I know they're going to talk negatively about me. I see how they spread wildfire and, you know, that's going to drive me crazy. I, they already know about my sex life, my mental health. They know all of this other stuff. They will pray on that because they prayed on other people's stuff. I feel like that's what somebody was for like the death of them in that sense, right? Of just like, so it's just like you don't have to let people drown in their own lives and let them fall in their own pit. So it's the same because a tower card is happening. Somebody is having an awakening, right? Here we have the page of pentacles and the nine of pentacles, right? So like I said before, new um, incoming information is going to come to you. All of a sudden, people are going to want to start talking. Here we have the wheel of fortune and you're going to feel very fortunate. You're going to feel very, very fortunate that you chose you. Like I said, somebody is not indecisive. Things happen at the at the oddest of times when you finally say enough is enough and just say you just you so cool, calm and collected about it for them. It may hit them. It may take them a minute. They may feel like they got hit by an 18 wheeler like days later when they snap out of it and realize as calm as you said it, you were you were standing on business. You were you were serious. Very serious. He had nine of pentacles. Yeah, very, very serious, right? So nine, nine, nine. You are definitely really unique. And so I feel like you're very fair. You will invest time, help people to kind of calm down their anxiety. I feel like, you know, you are very fair-minded. But when it gets to a point of just being indecisiveness and just knowing that people are kind of sort of, if they're being preyed upon and they're not opening up and sharing with you, or they've gotten accustomed to people blow torching them, or, you know, like they're going to have to find, they're going to have to pray their way through a situation. So page of wands and page of pentacles, like I said, new information is coming. And then here we have, but for you, you're going to feel like a teenager again, for real. I think that was what somebody's fear was. I feel like somebody was like indecisive because you really wasn't going to show what shit. I mean, you weren't sure what people were going to say about you and how you were going to react 
or how they were going to react. Like if they were going to tell people your deepest, darkest secrets and then you was going to flip out. But I don't feel, I don't see you the one that's flipping out. I feel like for them, they're going to be the one that's like, what? You know, like sad and just kind of, I got to do something now because Libra is not, you know, the person who was the fairest of them all is, you know, they first, they may say you being unfair. Maybe uh, they're going to talk to somebody else about something, but they don't, one way or the other, they're going to learn. It's just a lot of situations going on here. But for you, I feel like you live in your truth and you're moving forward. And here's the thing. It's not like you want to have receipts, but just in case somebody is like, you know what? You didn't do this for me. You didn't do that for me. I feel like you pulling out bank statements like what? But if they talking about your sexuality or your sensuality or your mental health state and they feel like they got your medical records or whatever, go ahead and show whatever you want to show. People don't, I mean, at this point, you just feel like, hey, you're only hurting yourself. You're only hurting yourself. Whatever it is, they only hurting themselves because you made it to the throne. You don't have anything negative to say about them at all. That's why there's a lot of wealth coming your way. That's why you know how to pray yourself to an exodus strategy. That's why you have compassion for them and yourself. So... And right here, somebody is saying you're making your way to, that's where the breakthrough is coming in. That's where the breakthrough is coming in is that you like, Hey, you know what? I don't wish any harm on you. I wish you the best actually, but I'm not indecisive anymore. You have the gift of clairvoyance. You see things clearly. You have the gift of precognition, which is foreknowledge. Angel Raphael, the healer and protector of travelers is in your favor. Somebody's never stopped loving you. Um, it's time for you to close out the cycle in love. We also have, they are not happy without you, right? So, but you're still not going backwards. Dance around your home as if no one is watching. So your laughter is actually medicine to a lot of people. Like I said before, I feel like, let me just say this. I feel like somebody ex, somebody's ex, to some degree, uses somebody's adult child as a pawn to stay connected to you in some way, shape, form, or fashion. They always lurking. So if you have an adult child and, and you always kind of hear them and lingering in the background, like you could pick up on the energy. It's the inflection in your adult child's voice. And they just, all of a sudden, they seem like they talking a little lower or something's going on. They always kind of lurking and listening to every little thing, just like a, a wild cat, just like pacing back and forth, paying. <laughs> just, Woo child, madness, just straight up madness. But for you, you're not indecisive anymore. So somebody's adult child is going to have to recognize some of the same things that you recognize that they dealing with somebody who is in survival mode all the time. And they have to make a decision. Do they want to stay in that situation? They're going to start talking to you and telling you some stuff, Libra. You know, it's same thing with some of y'all family members. Some of y'all family members are in situations that they don't, they didn't want to talk to you until you weren't available anymore. All of a sudden they want to spill their beans. They want to tell everything. And, um, but it was your fear of something happening to them or happening to the relationship that they would never talk to you again. Or, you know, somehow they would end some kind of like some, even if you have little kids, like these two little kids right here, even if you have little kids and the other parents threatening to end permanently, you know, visitation or something. It's just a lot of stuff going on that people try to use kids and your inner child causing you fear and all of that stuff. But prayer is changing a whole lot of stuff. All hell is breaking loose in some people's lives that try to hang, to try to hold some stuff over your head. Mm -hmm. That's why so many people are getting in front of it. They telling you, hey, I had a past and I had a great time. So, um, hey, you want to use the past to be high, uh, you know, against them? Um, mm hmm. Yeah. Patience. I am here in this present moment. I have all that I need. I lack nothing. Time is relative. Right now is all that matters. I wait with excitement. All good things come in due time. All is working for my highest good. Because it is. I feel like some people just use some things over people's heads. And um, But for you, you're like, you can't use nothing over my head. I know my truth, so you can't use nothing over my head. And so you better make sure it is the absolute truth. <laughs> Right. So yeah, somebody's going to feel very fortunate because you don't feel indecisive about it, you know, anymore, you know, um, 
I thought these were two cards. Yeah, nothing will come of the situation. And nothing will come of the situation because, like I said, somebody's biggest fear that somebody was going to stop talking to you or something bad was going to happen. It's not what somebody thinks is going to happen. Because, again, if you make people feel nurtured, protected, secure, as long as you're not overdoing, especially when you're talking about kids, you know. If somebody has kids, kids are always looking for the easier parent, okay? Who got the most sugar at their house? <laughs> You know, who won't let me stay up or pass the whoever. That's why parent people love grandparents, you know, for some, for the most part. People love their grandparents so much because the grandparents just let them do everything, you know. Um, but I feel like whoever was trying to hang something over your head, you know, it's going to backfire on them if you can just get in front of something. So nothing, nothing bad is going to come of, you know, some situations. Nothing bad is going to come of some situations, so... So that's what I'm saying. Nothing will come out of the situation. It just is what it is. So get grounded. Many of the most evolved beings on earth are regular folks living with joy, dignity, and courage. Yep, joy, dignity, and courage. So source is telling you live your best life. Take them blindfolds off. Take those um, pink rose-colored glasses off. Source keeps sending people across your path that have gone through a identical like identical to what you've gone through. I mean, like carbon copy of what you've gone through. But the reason why somebody can't see it is because, again, for the fear, it's fear, fear blocks everything. Just the grieving and mourning. Your head is hung low. You feel like, oh gosh, you know, I'm getting this bad news again. Every time I get this, this ball in the pit of my stomach and they, they threatening, they saying this, they saying that. So it's the same. Let them keep on talking to their mouth turning into cotton balls. It don't matter. <laughs> But you are about to live a whole different life. It's about to be, yeah. So have patience with yourself. Have patience with yourselves. Have patience with yourself. Have patience with yourself. 17, I am independent. There it is. The quality of work you can produce when you're going at it alone is almost unbelievable. You are as independent as you are ambitious, capable of performing every step of the way with efficiency, focus, and skill. Yeah, people always threatening somebody. So... Yeah, I feel like, you know, people all eyes are on you. People are watching every little thing that you do, who you with. Everything is not for social media consumption, you know. And and so sources saying something, you only let people on social media know what you want them to know. That's it. That's all they privy to. It's the world wide web, you know. So don't be so confused. You mourning so much, head hung so low that you start posting stuff on social media and then these energies got you. Oh, they dating who? They who? What's what, what happened? Oh, okay, now got them. All right. You just invited that problem. So that's what that's what I'm seeing for you. And I'll say whoever you with, whoever you sit on the rainbow with. Right. Let them know ahead of time. Hey, you know, this is what I'm dealing with and I'm not putting stuff on social media. And if you if you are on the same frequency with me, you're not putting stuff on social media either. Protect the energy, protect, protect, protect where my inner child feels safe with you and your inner child feels safe with me. But that's what I'm seeing for you. Like you're very unique and, um, you, you spend a whole lot of time pouring into people, inspiring and motivating people. And some of those people, quite frankly, they have used that to, they saw that as a weakness, their loss. That's what I have for you. Thank you for joining me here. The questions for the moon and Sagittarius. First question is what's your heart? What is your heart yearning to learn and to do? Second question is where do you want to be in five to 10 years? Third question is, what are the main challenges on your path to your envisioned future? Fourth question is, are there ways to solidify your foundation for taking off, perhaps saving money so that you can leave your job or learning a new skill? And then last but not least is, are you on your path? When the moon moves into Sagittarius, that's a great time to um, know your target and fully discern the difference between the ultimate purpose and stories that are injected into your mind by society and media. So um, if somebody has been able to keep you in a state of just complete confusion and burnout, this is a form of manipulation, manipulating your emotions and fear, doubt, uncertainty. You're afraid that if I do something, it's going to cause the, the end of a uh, end of communication end of, you know, whatever. So somebody kept warming up to something and now you're having a tower moment. And so 
but you're divinely protected. So you're not warming up to it at, at all. You're not operating in fear. That's, that's a wrap. That's done. That's over with, you know, and, um, I'll see you all on the next reading. But again, I'll put the dates for this video on here. So you'll be prepared for the last quarter moon. So you can close out, you can finish out strong. That's what I have for you. I'll see you in the next reading. Bye.